A very busy, bustling morning, Friday the 25th of March, here in the Cumbrian town of Cockermouth. Now, you might remember seeing that car before. It was covered in owl poo last time you saw it. It's one of the most successful videos I've ever done on The Late Break Show, the barn find Lambo Espada. Well, today we're deciding to revisit this because it goes under the hammer for sale in half an hour. And I'm just curious. Welcome to The Late Break Show. Now move on to lot 1367, the Lamborghini Espada. You all know the story and you're aware of the history of the car being farm stored for in the region of 30 years. Owl. There were a lot of owls that pooed on that Lamborghini the last time I saw it, but those owls probably did stop it from getting eaten alive inside. We're at the Mitchell's auctioneer house and they sell everything from toys, furniture, actual livestock, so from lambs to Lambos. Today I'm gonna to try and not buy anything, uh, but it's gonna be interesting to see what the Lamborghini sells for and who buys it. Are they gonna be in the room? I don't know. The auction room's through here. I'm gonna stay quiet now. 950, Lot 1332 is up, and it's some sort of dresser I'm not interested in. I'm interested in lot 1367, which is the Espada. Bear in mind, there's 34 registered people to bid and watch online as we speak. Um, there's a 12,000 quid bid already. Estimate 12, uh, 20 to 30 grand, which I think is fair. I might go a shade over 30. 25% um, commission if you bid in the room, 30% commission if you buy online. I'm hoping whoever buys it, we can actually get to talk to them. We now move on to lot 1367, the Lamborghini Espada. You all know the story and you're aware of the history of the car being barn stored for in the region of 30 years and not seen the light of day until, until, until recently. We've got the 1973 Lamborghini Espada and I have several bids on this and I can start the bidding at £18,000. I've 18,000 pounds bid at 18,000, 19,000, 20,000, 21,000. I've 21,000 pounds bid in the room. I've 21,000 pounds bid 22,000, 23,000. I've 23,000 bid at the back. And I've 23,000 pounds bid there then 23,000, 24,000, 25,000. I've 25,000 bid at the back of the room. And I've 25,000 bid there, then 25,000. And I've 25,000 bid, are there any further bids at 25,000? And I've 25,000 pounds at 25,000. Are there any further bids on the vehicle at 25,000? You're all out online, make no mistake. You're out on the telephone, make no mistake. The bid's at the back of the room at 25,000 pounds and the hammer is up at 25,000. All done. 25,000, thank you very much. We move on to lot 1368. I'll see it when you've finished it next week. <laughs> Alternators turning, the top pulley was turning, the bottom pulley was turning. They're all turning. Good sign. There we go. It's complete as well. It is complete. Yeah. 
I, I hope you enjoy rebuilding carburettors. You got a lot. Are you going to use the carb rebuilder? The good thing about carbs, you can bring them indoors. You don't have to sit in a cold garage in winter. You can have them laid out on the table, glass of wine. So you just bought this car. You came yes. and chatted to me just yeah. before the, the yeah. bidding started. It's great that someone actually bought it who stood in the room because I can now talk at yeah. you for a bit. Okay. Tell me the story. Why do you want it? Um, it's unusual. I'll probably never get a chance of buying a car like this again yeah. in this area. Yeah. Um, You're from the area? Yeah, yeah. I'm only about nine or ten miles down the road from Workington. Uh, it's nice to stay in local in Cumbria. Yeah. Um, I didn't think I would get it. Didn't you? No, I thought there'd be a lot more interest. So 25 grand, right? Yeah. Plus, Plus the commission. It's so also yeah. at 25%. Yeah. So you, you about do another six, another another six, six on top. So yeah. 31 grand. But you yeah. bought a Lamborghini. Got a Lamborghini. And have yeah. you always wanted a, a, an Espada or is it? I've never thought about it till I've seen it. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Um, I've seen the pictures of it. I didn't think it looked very nice on the pictures. Yeah. I was working in the area the other day. So I thought I'd just call in, ha have a look at it. Mm -hmm. And when I seen it, wow. Yeah. Yeah, wow. It's what quite, a car. It's quite, yeah. And it's, a, you know, it's yeah. a properly rare car. This is the thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. the, probably 10% yeah. of production was right and drive. Yeah. yeah. And production wasn't very big, yeah. as we said before. So have you owned classic cars and stuff before? Yeah, or? I always had classic cars. My dad used to sell cars when I was younger. Okay. So I've always been involved in cars. Yeah. But normally the Fords, the Triumphs, the Jags, the MGs, nothing like this. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So is the, pl is the plan going to be you're going to jump straight on the resto of it? Or? Um, I'd like to get it running, yeah. get it roadworthy first. Yeah. Maybe drive, drive it first. As is. As is. I think that's, that's what yeah. I would do. Yeah. That's what I yeah. was always thinking Dr would be yeah. cool. And then to, to strip it down and restore it, it's going to take a long time. Yeah. I'd rather have some enjoyment. Yeah. I like driving them, so yeah. I like to enjoy it first before I do that. Yeah. Make good. Yeah, definitely. Have you had a crawl underneath it? Yes. Have you? Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't get to crawl underneath yeah. it because it was about four inches of owl droppings. Yeah, it's surprisingly, surprisingly very good. Is it? Because it yeah. looked okay from the bits I could see. Yeah. Surprisingly, it, it is good. The worst is, as you see, on, on top. But even then, I mean, like, obviously, when, I, when we made the film about it, it had a lot of yeah. owl poo on it, like a lot. Yeah, I've seen the, seen the video. Considering what, what it, what, how much stuff was covered in it, and it, the paint's not that bad. No, no, the car is remarkably good condition considering where it was. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. A genuine bargain yeah. Mind as well. Yeah, fantastic. So yeah. I, I, all I ask is that can we, can we revisit this yeah, at definitely, some point? Yeah, can we hear definitely. the engine? Can yes, we? Yes, definitely. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah, I know it's definitely. been one of our most successful videos on the Late Break Show, that, yeah. the Barn Fine episode. Yeah. People want to know how these stories mm -hmm. end up. Yeah. So, yeah. And I, I've lost count of the number of people who've contacted us asking about the number plate, saying that number plate doesn't correspond to, the, to this car anymore. No, it doesn't. I knew that. So the first thing I did is I ran the plate. We yeah. still don't know the exact background story on this car. Okay. I've had a couple of Lamborghini Espada sort of owners club people contact me. One guy said, I know who used to own that car. It was notorious. The owner may have gone to prison for fraud at some point. And that owner may have worked in the industry of private uh, car registrations. So I don't know. All I know is that now they got the, 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 the people got probate and could sell it. Yes. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very it's much. exciting. Yes, it it's is. It's a fantastic yeah. car. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I want it. Mm. Next time I see you, hopefully the older 3.9 V12 will be actually yeah. singing. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I, hope so. I just hope I don't find anything drastic with the engine. Are you going to do it yourself? Or no, some? no, I'll get I'll get friends to help us. You've got yeah. some people come along with you today. Are they are they the ones being roped in to do the restoration? <laughs> one, one of them is behind us here. I don't think so. He's rubbing his head, going, "Oh no." Good neighbors, man. Good neighbors. Just good neighbors. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you'll help. We've all got cars, man. One of the classic yeah, cars. Yeah. So I have. To, I think yeah. you've done all right price wise. Yeah, I think so. I, you, I expected to make more. They don't come up for sale very often and especially a right-hand drive one. Yeah. Yeah. I just hope, like you say, the, the engine's fundamentally good. Yeah, that's, the, that's the, main, the, main, the main thing. And that you start learning 
Italian quite soon because you'll be ordering a few <laughs> yeah. bits online, I suspect. Yes, yeah. I've been looking at the prices. Have you? Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. Get good yeah. at making your own stuff. Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, thanks for the chat. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Another chapter of the Espada saga then. It's just sold, I think about 31,000, including the commission here in Cockermouth. It's going to a local guy, Michael. And the great thing is, I know that Michael's going to get it back on the road, initially as is. It's going to go through it mechanically, leave the bodywork as is, enjoy it for a while, then see about a resto. So there is going to be another episode of the Late Break Show where I'll go to Michael's and have a first drive of the car. I love seeing these cars have a chance at life again. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Late Break Show. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. Why not become a Patreon and you can watch videos like this earlier and get an insight into these with a blog from me. Thank you. As promised, Mike stayed in touch with me and within a week he'd sent this footage over showing the lights and many other parts working on the Lamborghini. It even freely turns over. He's rebuilt the carburettors and is awaiting ignition bits before committing to start the thing up. Lights? Yeah. Indicator? Yeah. And yeah. yeah. We've shampooed the carpet. The carpet have come up really well. Really solid, very solid. <laughs>